check, hey check, hey check. Patay kasi kanina. Hey check, hey check, hey check.
join a beauty pageant. It would be a pageant for the cause of Miss Earth. products.
celebrating 15 years of beauty and responsibility, Carousel Productions and Hannah Shampoo proudly present Miss Philippines Earth 2015.
Please welcome your hosts, Miss Earth 2008, Carla Henry, Miss Philippines Air 2006, Conejero, and Robbie Domingo. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beauty pageant fans from all over the Philippines, are you ready? Well, good evening and welcome to the grand celebration of beauties for a cause. The time has come to crown a new queen who will serve as the voice of Mother Earth. Now guys, I am just as thrilled as everyone here at Mall of Asia Arena because yet again, we bring back the pageantry that defines a beauty competition. And that's very evident in the colorful and awesome costumes and cultural attire that our candidates are wearing. I wish those were around when I was Definitely. a candidate. Right? Mm -hmm. And so, of course, representing the diverse culture of our country, these outfits are the original creations of our local designers. And it's just fitting that we recognize our own homegrown talents. That's true. This year, the people behind Miss Philippines Earth have chosen one outstanding design, which will be worn by tonight's winner as her official national costume when she competes in the Miss Earth pageant later on this year. Now, that's something we can be proud of. Definitely, Robbie. Now the organizers, along with a select panel of judges, viewed the cultural attire of our candidates and chose one design that will take center stage at the Miss Earth pageant later this year. And speaking of which, I have the result in my pocket. Look at that, look at you. The cultural costume is worn by our candidate from... That's right. Lipa City, this time by Chico Estiva. Beautiful design right there. Look at that. Creativity. Incredibly beautiful. Congratulations to Miss Lipa City. And of course, her designer, Miss Chico. Estiva, Estiva, yes. And to all the designers for showcasing and sharing your talent with us, thank you all so much. This is our way of saying thank you for supporting Miss Philippines Earth. That's just the beginning, and we still have so much in store for you tonight. Stay with us and don't miss the excitement of the crystal year of the only advocacy-driven beauty search in the country. This is Miss Philippines Earth 2015, don't go away.
Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's right there. of the Miss Earth Foundation to impart values to candidates and winners to become worthy spokespersons for different eco-advocacies. As we celebrate our 15 years, we look back at the accomplishments of the queens who chose to inspire and lead by example. From fashion shows for a cause that began in 2001 to the I Love My Planet Earth school tours launched in 2006, over 250,000 individuals have been reached by 15 batches of Miss Philippines Earth Beauties all over the Philippines and abroad. Through activities like storytelling sessions, art activities, songs and dance, we have been helping bring the environmental education to those who need it the most. We have also planted thousands of seedlings since day one. Along the way, we learned the importance of planting indigenous species and nurturing of the seedlings so that they may grow to their prime. Every year, we join the observance of Earth Hour in March, Earth Day in April, and International Coastal Cleanup Day in September. We have also been biking to promote road sharing and cleaner air, which we desperately yearn for here in the metro. Several batches have also embarked on their special projects as their legacy. 2006 came up with a book entitled Bakawan, the 33rd book in the Bright Minds Read program of the Department of Education. 2007 released their own reusable bags. 2008's 20K OK planted trees in Bicol and Zamboanga. 2009 short film Project Noel inspired by Typo Nondoy garnered a special jury award in DepEd Cine Pambata and the environmental distinction at the FAMAS Awards. 2011 produced a documentary entitled Ilaw Sa Isla, which features the plight of people who are off-grid, but now are gradually introduced to the benefits of solar energy. Of course, we never forget to reach out to those who are in need. We extend our assistance to the victims of disasters through outreach activities and medical missions, as well as to orphan children during charity visits. All these were made possible with our partnerships with various government agencies, non-government organizations, civil society, companies, sponsors, and many individuals who shared the advocacy. As we welcome the 15th batch of Elemental Queens, we remain positive that they will strive to create their unique mark and environmental legacy. The life of a Miss Philippines Earth Queen is one that is filled with so many adventures and opportunities that really broaden her horizons. Yes, and just like Ginger and I during our time, she'll get the chance to meet people from all walks of life, bringing with her a message of hope for the environment. And she gets to travel the country, and while she does so, she'll have the privilege of wearing the stunning new Miss Philippines Earth crown as a symbol of her reign. Crafted by renowned jewelry and accessories designer Arnel Papa, the crown features a leaf motif that symbolizes the continuous growth of Mother Earth and is adorned with Swarovski crystals and precious stones that represent the vastness of our ecosystem. Tonight, the rightful owner of the new crown will be decided upon by our dis distinguished panel of judges. Let's get to meet them one by one, Ginger, shall we? All right, our first judge is a dashing hotelier, the room's division manager of Diamond Hotel Philippines, the official residence of Miss Philippines Earth 2015. Please give it up for Mr. George Reynoso III. Actress turned public servant, a three-term counselor of the Cloban City, where she promotes livelihood and protection of women and children. The lovely first lady of the Cloban City, Miss Cristina Gonzalez Romualdo. The country's premier br brass sculptor and one of the 10 outstanding Young Men Awardees of 2006, please welcome Mr. Michael Cagno. The first lady of the Italian Embassy in the Philippines and president of the Spouses of Heads of Mission, Miss Agnes Ventura Rossino. Senior Vice 
President for Operations of SM Hypermart, the pioneer in promoting green shopping habits, Mr. Arnold Daloops. One of the country's finest performers with an illustrious music, movie, and television career, the divine diva herself, Miss Jada Padilla. Stunning she is. And the Vice President for Sales and Marketing of Peerless Lion Corporation, the maker of Hannah Shampoo. Please welcome Mr. Jasper Chu. The woman who started it all. Former beauty queen and actress, and now the executive vice president of Carousel Productions and the founder of Miss Philippines Earth and Miss Earth. We consider her our mother, our own Mother Earth, Miss Lorraine Shook. And last but certainly not the least, the ambassador of the Federal Republic of Germany to the Philippines. Please welcome His Excellency, Ambassador Thomas Osowski. We also have the pleasure of introducing the tireless people behind Carousel Productions. We are referring to the president of Carousel, Mr. Ramon Monzon, represented tonight by his daughter, Samantha Monzon, and of course, the vice president and project director, Ms. Pichi Venerashan. Congratulations on the 15 years, Carousel Productions, and welcome once again to our ladies, our ladies and gentlemen on our judging panel. Now we'll pause for a short break, but when we return, we'll hand out some special awards and the announcement of our top 15. Do stay with us. Ten, top five. Pangkasinan.
queen. Young ladies saw their dreams of becoming a beauty queen come true. And tonight, we are about to turn the one more dream into reality. The competition gets tougher year after year and expectations even bigger. But the candidates managed to take it in stride and show the world what a true advocate is really made of. Together with reigning Miss Earth, Jamie Harrell, we bring back the lovely ladies competing for the title of Miss Philippines Earth 2015. for 2015 Miss Philippines Earth. How was that again? A little pop, a little pop in action. Can you guys do that? Tossing it back over to Robbie and Carla. Pop it over, guys. <laughs> oh, then, one on one with the ginger right there. Pop, rock, and smile. But once again, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the women of Miss Philippines Earth 2015 and Miss Earth 2014, Jamie Harrell. Can't stop smiling. I know, you're blushing, my goodness. Oh my God. Calm down, Robbie, because another <laughs> batch, and among them are three exceptional ladies who will bag this year's special awards. And first up is for the best 
Echo video as reviewed by the organizers and a panel composed of former Miss Philippines Earth winners. This year's Best Echo Video Award goes to... Best Echo Video from... Evil Zamboanga Sibugay, Maria Lorraine Magay Grenya. Presenting the award is Miss Kathy Untalan Vital, former executive director of the Miss Earth Foundation. Miss SM Markets, who will represent SM dedication to service and will be at the forefront of SM's advocacy to embrace greener shopping habits through the My Own Bag campaign and grow a million trees. To receive an SM prestige card loaded with 50,000 points, Miss SM Markets is none other than Miss. Starts with a B. Bagua City, Catherine Joy Marin. Presenting the award is Mr. Arnold Daluz. Senior Vice President for Operations, SM Hypermarket. Congratulations, Bago City. I would love to have that award. 50,000 pesos, my gosh. Me too. <laughs> and finally, we have the award for the candidate who represents beauty in its natural glory, the Miss Hanna Award. This year, the winner of Miss Hanna will be receiving a cash prize of 50,000 pesos and a year supply of Hanna products to ensure that her hair and body are naturally pampered throughout the year. Yes. And of course, during the press presentation last May 7, Hannah Shampoo selected 10 ladies to be Hannah's 10 beauties of nature. I do that to my hair every time. Okay, and the 10 will be this year's Miss Hannah. The winner was based on the tallied number of likes from the official Miss Philippines Earth Facebook page, as well as the judge's decision from the Hannah Shampoo team. So without further ado, Miss Hannah 2015 is... City of Manila, Angelia Ong! Presenting the award for Miss Hannah 2015 are Mr. Norman Mir, Brand Manager, and Mr. Hideaki Yoshioka, Representative of Lion Corporation. Congratulations to the winners of our special awards, and that's just the tip of the ice to make a more exciting announcement in just a bit. Before we move on, let me just ask our Miss Earth, of course. Many years Many back. Many years back. <laughs> no, I thought, like, Once upon ago. a time. <laughs> of course, uh, you've been in the same situation as the ladies right there, but during your time, what was going through your mind? I think what was going through my mind is I want to know who's it in the top 10. But in this year, we have top 15. So let's, let's see who it is, right? Because I'm sure which, the ladies are, are excited to know. Are you ready, Mall of Asia Arena? Well, this time, it's time to meet our top 15 candidates who will advance to the competition. Handing us the results is Mr. Johnny Ang, partner of SGV and Company, our official tabulator. Based on preliminary scores and in no particular order, here are the top 15 candidates. Thank you so much, boss. Top 15. So, my goodness. Here we go. The magic envelope. First on the list is Miss. From Northern Luzon, Miss Baguio City. Sophia Lorenzo, you. Congratulations, you are part of the top 15 from Mindanao. Cagayan de Oro City, Beatriz Alvarez. All right, our next beautiful lady is from North Luzon, Dinalopian Bataan, Mile Alexis 
Reyes Reyes. This time we've got a lovely lady coming from South Luzon. From Santa Cruz Laguna, Aliana, Micaela, Kagan, Ahan. Take a deep breath, beautiful lady, because you've made it to the top 15 from South Luzon, Kinubata Nalbai, Gian Kaila Salazar. Time, let's move to Visayas, specifically from Mandawe City, Mon Therese Menali. Another Visayan, Bago City, Catherine Joy Marin. Welcome to the top 15 from Mindanao. Iligan City, Joselle K. Cristoria. You've made it in from North Luzon, San Antonio Nueva Ecija. Janelle Olive Thomas. Another Visayan candidate from Iloilo City, Jonas Sweet. South Luzon, your representative from Sinuloa Laguna has made it in. Carla Angela Valderrama. We got another candidate from Mindanao. Now from Misamis Oriental, Mitsume Aguilar. From the National Capital Region, the city of Manila, Angelia Gabriela. This time, let's go to North Luzon. You are in Cabanatuan City, Diana Mackey. And the last candidate to make it into the top 15 is from South Luzon. Lipa City, Paris Silva. The sizzling swimsuit competition is up next, so don't go away. We will be right back.
getting to know your fellow candidates, and finding your footing in pageant life. It really helps to have an icebreaker because everyone gets to be comfortable with one another. New friends are formed at the stage. And believe me, everyone is still on friendly mode. Of course, there are the mandatory trainings. And these are very helpful, especially for those joining a pageant for the very first time. It's also the time when we really get to know what Miss Philippines Earth is all about and how it differs from other pageants. I was able to enhance my communication and social skills through the sponsor visits we made. It's really an eye-opening experience because we got to meet people from different fields, from the retail industry to corporate executives, media personalities, you name it. These exposures are more than just saying thank you to the pageant supporters. But more importantly, these activities help boost a candidate's confidence, which can come in handy on pageant night. I am Catherine Vital, Miss Philippines Earth 2006, proud to be part of the growing family of beauties for a cause. Uh -huh. We are back here at the Mall of Asia Arena for the 15th year celebration of Miss Philippines Earth. And in just a few moments, you'll be treated to a showcase of fine curves, shapely legs, and amazing confidence. Oh, wow. Refreshing as the ocean's mist. Here's your top 15 in the swimsuit competition, starting off with Baguio City, Sophia Lauren Delu. Serving the people has been second nature for Sophia. No wonder she chose to pursue a career in law enforcement. Up next, we have Cagayan de Oro City, Beatriz Alvarez. Beatrice is one tough young lady being able to send her siblings to school while she herself was finishing her degree in international studies. And now we move on to Dinalopian Bataan, Alexis Reyes. Alexis has a penchant for cooking and would love to become a chef someday.
The moment is yours, Santa Cruz Laguna, Aliana Micaela Kagandahan. Aliana admits she's the geeky and athletic type when she was a kid. She has a passion for traveling and hopes to see the world with her family. This time, let's have Kilobatan Albay, Gian Kayla R. Salazar. This psychology graduate spent her childhood moving from school to school because of her mother's job. But that only made her flexible and adaptable to change. From Visayas, specifically Makawi City, more the Reese Menaling. Mon is an only child, but that didn't stop her from enjoying her childhood years. She holds a bachelor's degree in biology. Another Visayan, this time from Bago City, Catherine Joy Marin. Catherine says that she's a very curious person, so curious that she got into trouble when she was a little girl. And now let's move to Iligan City, Giselle K. Cristoria. Fun, adventurous, and awesome. That's how Giselle describes her childhood. Being the eldest in the family, she learned to always give way for her younger siblings. Up next is San Antonio Nueva Ecija, Chanel Olive Thomas. Chanel is one bubbly girl growing up. She took classes in ballet, jazz and tap, and even played tennis and basketball. Lady coming from Iloilo City, Jonna Sweet. Jonna found herself constantly moving from the Philippines to Sydney when she was a kid. It was a tough challenge, but it made her an independent young lady. It's your turn, Sinaloa Laguna, Carla Angela Valderrama. She once represented her school in an intercollegiate pageant, and that experience came in quite handy when she became a Miss Philippines Earth candidate. Miss Sam, Miss Oriental, you're next. Mitsume Aguilar. This marketing major's life is full of ups and downs, but she says that, that helped her nurture her maturity. Now from NCR, City of Manila, Angelia Gabriela Ong. She may be a fun and outgoing person, but Angelia takes her academics quite seriously. She's a Dean's Lister at her university where she's taking marketing management. From North Luzon, Campanatuan City, Diana Mackey. Diana grew up in a laid-back family, and she even raised chickens when she was a young girl. And last for the swimsuit competition from South Luzon, Lipa City, Paris Silva. Paris has traveled extensively with her family and once celebrated her birthday in Cambodia with orphans and homeless children.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, our top 10, our top 15 in Fabulous Swimsuit by Ricky Abad. This time we'll take a breather and when we return, these ladies will leave you breathless in the evening gown competition and a rousing number from the G-Force which I can define us. Hum bam, don't go away, we'll be right back. treated to sumptuous lunches and dinners that it's quite impossible for any candidate to stick to a diet plan. that it took us to different locations most of us had never been to.
one day we would find ourselves in the headquarters of our sponsors, the next day we would be jetting off to some exotic locations. These out-of-town trips are definitely something to look forward to because aside from the fact that it allows the candidates to bond with each other, it gives them the opportunity to see what our country has to offer and of course, a deeper understanding of the needs of the environment. Just like my batch, the candidates are still on a relaxed mood at this time, but it won't be long until they switch on to their competition mode. I'm Jean Harn, Miss Philippines Earth 2007, and I'm one with the pageant nation in celebrating 15 years of beauty and responsibility. Oozing with pizzazz and the right kind of attitude, this dynamic group has changed the way that people see dancing and dancers, celebrating their 10th anniversary. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the 2014 Aliu Awardee for Best Contemporary Dance Group, Teacher Jerzel and the G-Force. Teacher Jersell and the G-Force. The dazzling evening gown competition is up next here on the Grand Coronation Night of Miss Philippines Earth 2015.
with us? Philippines are at 2015, and we have reached the most elegant part of the show. It's time to see the candidates bedecked in sheer sophistication. Friends, here are the drop dead gorgeous top 10 15 candidates in the evening gown competition. Beginning with candidate number one from Baguio City, Sophia Loren de Liu. Edwin Oi. Cagayan de Oro City, Beatriz Alvarez. Designer, Al 
Albert Rivera. Is I take you home, mama, let you meet my friends. Cause you don't come with drama. So I want you to the words. The way more than worth it. But I don't feel like I deserve it. You got the pieces. You're my kind of perfect. I don't work hard when it's easy. Dinalopian Bataan, Mile Alexis Reyes. Designer, Vincent Piar. Designer, Bessie Besana. Inubatan Albay, Gian Tyler Salazar. Designer, Cherry Samuya Beric. Dawis City, Mon Therese Menale. Designer, Dino Loren. Go City, Catherine Joy Marin. Designer, John T. Martinez. Iligan City, Jocelle Cristoria. Designer, Cedrics Bartolotta. San Antonio Nueva Ecija, Chanel Thomas, designer Philip Tampos,
Kennedy, Jonah Sweet. Designer, Carla Fuentes. Loan Laguna, Carla Angela Valderrama. Designer Bing Cristoba. Miss Samis Oriental, Mitsumi Aguilar. Designer, Cherry Samuia Perry. City of Manila, Angela Ong. Designer, Polly Lagia. Banatuan City, Diana Mackey. Designer, John Cliff. Adele Silva. Designer Chico Estiva. Cause I take your home, mama. Let you meet my friends. Cause you don't come with drama. So I want you to the world. Got the pieces. You're my kind of perfect. I don't work hard when it's easy.
Let's give it up for the top 15 finalists. After the break, I'm sure the excitement will reach incredible proportions when we announce the 10 finalists. Have you made your final 10 list? Do stay with us to find out if your choices match that of our judges. We'll be right back.
time we had several free pageant challenges. At first you'll think that these activities had nothing to do with the pageant. But looking back it molded me to be more confident and taught me a lot on how to present myself in public. That is with grace under pressure. of weeks, you will see that the candidates are starting to look more beautiful, or blooming as they say. They become fierce, and they begin to radiate that winning aura that brings them closer to the crown. fortunate to bag some of these awards when I was still a candidate. But these competitions are always in the spirit of camaraderie and friendship. We may be competitors, but at the end of the day, we're all friends, even sisters. Of course, the pageant never runs out of activities that take your mind away from the competition. It somehow eases the tension a little bit as the big day approaches. Good morning, Earth. We're from Miss Philippines 2015. Welcome to the world's largest solar powered mall. This is Angeli de los Reyes, your Miss Philippines Earth 2013, a proud guardian of Mother Earth. Big competition happening right here, and you are still watching the Grand Coronation Night of Miss Philippines Earth 2015. And we are nearing the home stretch of tonight's competition. You're right, Robbie. Now, the judges' scores in the swimsuit and evening gown rounds have been tabulated and verified by our friends from SGV and company to determine the final 10 candidates who still have a shot at winning the Miss Philippines Earth crown. So excited, Mr. Johnny Ang will now hand us the envelope containing the names of our top 10 finalists. Good luck, ladies. Yes, ladies, good luck. All right, Mall of Asia Arena, are you ready? Here we go. You're slowly opening that envelope on purpose, I think. Yes. <laughs> ladies, in random order. Our first finalist is from NCR City of Manila, Angelia Cabrera Ong. Now from the Visayas, Bago City, Catherine Joy Marin. You can breathe now. San Antonio Nuevo Isia, Chanel Olive Thomas. All right, next up, come on down, Guido Batan Al Bay, Gian Kayla R. Salazar. We expect 
a sweet smile coming from Ilo Ilo City. Jonna, sweet. All right, Mo, well, we're 50% halfway there. How do you feel about that, Robbie? So excited. How about you guys? Are you excited? Let's get to it. All right, come on down. Sinaloa Laguna, Carla Angela Valderrama. You are part of our top 10. Santa Cruz Laguna, Aliana Micaela Hagantahan. Getting closer there. Our next finalist is from Misamis Oriental, Mitsume Aguilar. Hey, down, two more to go, and you are part of it. CDO Cagayan de Oro City, Beatriz Alvarez. We have one more name to call. Mall of Asia, are you ready? Our last finalist comes from North Luzon, Cabanatuan City, Diana Mackey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that completes the elite circle of 10, and one of them will become the next Miss Philippines Earth. All right, so we'll let the tension cool down just a bit. But guys, just ahead, we'll get to know these 10 lovely ladies even more in the revealing question and answer portion. That's happening right after this break. Don't you dare switch channels.
part of an amazing family, but this also becomes an eye-opening experience to issues that you might not have never known existed. This pageant will give you the tools to educate yourself and a platform to be heard. So as we welcome a new batch of queens, always remember that the test of true strength of a Miss Philippines Earth Queen lies in what she chooses to do with her reign. You win a title. Looking lovely tonight. All right, your question will be coming from my favorite, Miss Shasha Padilla. Do you believe in same-sex marriage? Why or why not? I think it really depends on the person if he or she believes in sex marriage. But as for me, um, if the, the person feels that he or she needs to be married to show his or her love, then I don't mind having sex marriage. If you feel that that is love, then so be it. Good night, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Angelia Garenong. All boils down to the love. From City of Manila, let's have Bago City. Catherine Joy Marin. Good evening. All right, your question will be coming from uh, one of my favorites as well. Michael Cagno. Hi, good evening. Hi, Po. Good evening. Good evening to all of you guys. Okay, this is my question. If you could take control over one environmental problem in the country, what will it be and why? I'm from Australia, and I had the pleasure to join so many girls who I actually related to and I made a sisterhood with. So I really believe Always believe in yourself, don't let self-esteem hold you back because you're worthy of a, a beautiful life. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chanel Olive Thomas, San Antonio Nueva Ecija. Keyword right there, growth. Up next, let's have a candidate coming from South Luzon, Ginobatan Albay, Gian Kayla R. Salazar. This lady is oozing with confidence. All right, good evening. Your question will be coming from Agnes Rossinho.
Hello, Ms. Albay. Hello, Pa. If you were to make a postcard to promote your province, which picture would you choose and why? It would be the famous Mayon volcano because it's a symbol of Albayano's resilience. We are inspired people and empowered people because we are good citizens of our community. We are beacons of hope and catalysts for change, especially for environment, and everyone knows that. For people to take the initiative to love, protect the Mother Earth, thank you. Thank you so much, Kino Badan Albay, from Mayon Volcano. And last but not least, from Iloilo City, Jonah Sweet. Lovely and sweet name. All right. And Miss Jonah Sweet handed me the Facebook question. It goes something like this From Andre Franz Sibayan. It's a fact that children learn from their parents. So I changed the question. What are the things parents can learn from their children? Are you ready? Well, for, as a, for a parent, they teach children to conserve the environment. And with children, what children learn from that, they could, they could also. Thank you for that answer, Jonah Sweet from Iloilo City, and thank you for that question, Andre Franz Sibayan. You know, we learn so much things from our parents, but that is definitely a tough question right there. But I have to say. Well done, ladies. Five down, five more to go. And the question and answer portion continues after this short break. We'll be right back. And we are back here at the tension filled Mall of Asia Arena. Our judges were impressed with our first batch of finalists. Now, let's see how our final five candidates will fare in this round. And we start off with Siniloan Laguna, Carla Angela Valderrama. You have lots of fans right here. Okay, gaming. Thank you so much. And your question 
will be coming from this cute kid, Elisha Dean Rasai, our little earth angel 2015. Gusto ko maging ikaw, paglaki ko, ano ang dapat kong gagawin? Thank you for that question, little cute girl. Well, I remember when I was your age, I don't have a father. And I will teach you on how to become a strong person. Because look at me now, I am competing in Miss Philippines Earth, of course, and standing in front of thousands of people showing what I have. And now I am a really strong, and I'll be more stronger. Okay? Good evening. Thank you, Sinelo and Laguna. Such a cute kid. At the end of the day, who run the world? Girls. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on. Let's say, Santa Cruz Laguna, Aliana Micaela Kagandahan. A beautiful name. For a beautiful candidate, of course. Good evening. Thank you so much. All right. Your question will be coming from our boss. Jasper Tew. Good evening. Um, what to you does it mean to be naturally beautiful? Good evening. For me, being naturally beautiful is embracing what God has given you. You don't have to look beautiful. You don't have to be sexy or to be beautiful in every way. For me, natural beauty is embracing what you have and at the same time redefining or having a purpose for what your beauty is. And that is what reason for that is being a woman of the earth. Santa Cruz Laguna, Miss Kagandahan, talking about beauty. It's nice. <laughs> Moving on, let's have this candidate from Mindanao, Miss Samis Oriental, Mitsume Aguilar. Are you ready? All set, all right. Your judge will be. Sir Arnold Alus. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. What do you think is the best way to encourage shoppers to be more environment friendly in their habits? We, the Miss Philippines Earth candidate, had been very helpful to the shoppers because we have had made them learn what truly green living is. We have distributed green bags for them to use it and learn the real way of being green. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sam Sorietal Mitsume Aguilar. And thank you for that wonderful question, Sir Arnold. Another candidate from Mindanao, this time from CDO, Cagayan de Oro City, Beatriz Alvarez. This time, your question will be coming from George Reynoso III. Uh, good evening, Miss Cagayan de Oro City. Okay, uh, 2015 is a significant year for. Miss Philippines Earth contestants, no? uh, especially you as a finalist. No? In your case, what significant life lesson did you learn when you joined Miss Philippines Earth 2015? Well, it actually opened my eyes to a lot of things about our nature, about friendship, and about caring, really caring for our environment. I've seen a lot of dirty places and which which we should always look forward into cleaning it and i believe that all of us people should always take care of our environment and make use of our nature in a very essential way thank you again the oro city who says nature friendship and environment but i mean salamat beatrice and last but not the least North Luzon, Cabanatuan City, Diana Mackey. Good evening, Diana. 
And of course, your question will be coming from His Excellency Ambassador Thomas Lasowski. Magandang gabi po. Magandang gabi po. Sa inyong lahat. <laughs> now, how do we have to change our way of life in order to save this planet for future generations? Well, as, you, as we all know, this beautiful, beautiful planet is really going to an end right now. That's why we have to, to do something now. We have to move now unless it's not really going to work for us. We have to change the way we live. We have to change something about our living right now. That's all. Thank you. Shocking revelation coming from Diana Mackey, but you know, we have to do something about it. And maraming maraming salam po, Sir Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our competition. Congratulations, ladies. You all did great in celebration of the pageant's 15th year. Catashell Productions and the Miss Earth Foundation formed a group of talented ladies from past and present Miss Philippines Earth candidates who will serve as the new voice of Mother Earth. Working in collaboration with the Paparazzi Band, their mission is to get more people involved in the march to protect the environment through the power of music. You know what? Let's all watch this. Your future husband Here's a few things You need to know it You wanna be My one and only
Give certificates from Merrill Shoes. Pretty strong Merrill for women. Specially crafted Murano jewelry set from Il Mercante de Venecia. Accentuate yourself in a sophisticated way. The Miss Philippines Earth 2015 winner will be receiving the following. A beautiful diamond, pearl and gold jewelry perfected in timeless elegance worth 50,000 pesos from the Amparito collection of M. Lurier Jewelries. She will receive a round-trip ticket to Cebu via Philippine Airlines with accommodation at the luxurious Ibiza loft of Movin Pick Hotel and Ibiza Beach Club, Mactan Island, Cebu. All the winners will receive management contracts from Carousel Productions and the privilege of using the new Miss Philippines Earth Crowns designed by Arnel Papa during their reign. Well, it has been a joyous year for this young, talented, and lovely lady from Cebu City. Her double victory in the Miss Philippines Earth and Miss Earth pageants became an inspiration for beauty queen aspirants and made the Filipinos proud when she bagged the country's second Miss Earth crown together with her elemental court. Here's a grand salute to our reigning queen, Jamie Hurdle. A few years back, I remembered watching the Miss Earth promo on TV, and I told myself that if I were to join a beauty pageant, it would be a pageant with a cause, Miss Earth. From Cebu to the different parts of the Philippines, I was able to experience the wonders of what this country has to offer, from the breathtaking natural wonders to its amazing lovely ladies on this very stage. You're absolutely Robbie, it is no small feat what the top 10 finalists just finished. So uh, hats off to you guys. Mm -hmm. And now, yes, Carla. I think we were talking backstage and uh, Robbie, do you have a special message for, you know, our queens who have just turned over? <laughs> well, uh, or about wow, <laughs> you're putting me on the spot right now. We got a last few seconds, so I thought I'll do Before that. Before I do that, I have to say hi to my mom and hi to Gretchen because, you know, the spike you know, is really, really <laughs> tough on the face. That's a tough, that's <laughs> a tough little lot. Uh, Spike gun to the Yeah, ball. but before <laughs> we move on, let me just ask you ladies. When you were part of the competition, what was running through your mind? Oh, Especially so on the last stretch. There's so many things that are running through your mind during that uh, question and answer portion. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. throughout the whole competition, I mean, I know that... Well, I don't know. I mean, when I was thinking back in 2006, I was kind of just having fun with it. So uh, I was just thinking, I need to get out of this bathing suit. I need to get in some flip-flops and a t-shirt. <laughs> that would be the best thing. Tama, time na para kumain. Time na. Na ko. Na. Please, ka ka na. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now? And now, after all of that competition and uh, those questions and answers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for. It is time to find out who will succeed Jamie and her court. Let me just remind everyone that from the heat that that fire brings, our third crown belongs to Miss Philippines Water. Cooling effects. <laughs> All right, Mall of Asia Arena, are you ready to find out who Miss Philippines Water is? Well, she's none other than Bago City, Catherine Joy Marin. Crowning Miss Philippines Water is Kim Covert. Miss Philippines Water 2014, together with Miss Agnes Ventura Rossino. Next up is a title previously held by our friend Ginger here. So big heels to fill, right, Jin? All right, my favorite crown. Miss Philippines Air, and the crown goes to... From Northern Luzon, San Antonio Nueva Ecija, Chanel Olive Thomas. Crowning Miss Philippines Air is Diane Querer, Miss Philippines Air 2014, together with Miss Peachy Venera Sean. Six ladies left standing and one last crowd at stake. This is it. Mall of Asia Arena, are you ready to meet your new queen? Cristobal Chio Flores and Jelani Patricios. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Ma'am and Concepcion, Bertha Mora, and Edwitan. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much to Pong New of MAC Cosmetics and Jay Aquino for my hair. And of course, GFL Properties. I want to say hi, Mama. I love you so much. Another night, another year of saving Mother Earth. We hope to see you all again next year as we continue the legacy of beauties for a cause. On behalf of Carousel Productions, Hannah Shaku, and my two lovely co-hosts, we bid you good night from the Mall of Asia Arena, and here's to 15 more years of beauty and responsibility. This has been Miss Philippines Earth 2015.